Welcome back guys in a new video. This time very cold and windy. I guess we are around one degree or maybe two degrees Celsius, but we are running anyway. And this time with the new uh, entry level of the Adi Zero lineup, the new uh, Adidas SL. So let's check it out after a quick intro. I run different training uh, with the new uh, Adi Zero SL slow run, tempo run and interval trainings and uh, in this video I'm gonna talk about my first impressions. But as always guys, let's split the video in three main chapters, the specs, uh, the house or mid sole and upper and finally the conclusions. For instance, uh, the trainings, I believe uh, this shoe fits uh, better. Starting from the specs, uh, we have a neutral shoe, the entry level of the Adi Zero lineup, uh, SL stands for super light. 35 mm in the heel, 25 mm in the forefoot for a drop of 10 mm, which is great. With Light Strike Epa Foam and Light Strike Pro in the midsole, no continental rubber in the house sole, with upper made with a, a custom woven mesh, partially recycled. It's mainly a shoe for the road uh, and uh, for a weight of 261 grams, 9.21 ounces in my size, US 10 sides. And uh, the price is uh, another 30 euro. Let's start now from the house sole. Uh, but before to go ahead, guys, smash like button, subscribe if you haven't yet, and activate the notification bell. And if you want to support the channel, you can offer me a coffee, clicking in the link down below. Just a remark, this is a pair of shoes that I bought with my money. No one is paying me for this review. Let's keep this channel growing, guys. Thank you so much for your support. I really need it and I appreciate it. But now let's talk about the house sole. The rubber material in the household is uh, not that stiff and uh, uh, thick like in, in the Adios 7. I would say it is between the RC4 and the Adios 7. Uh, you can even hear that from the sound. I tested them mainly on the road, but the grip was great uh, even in gravel paths and uh, wet conditions. Since, uh, the rubber is not uh, so stiff, uh, it has more grip and uh, in the times gave me uh, a great confidence uh, even at a faster pace, uh, I haven't felt any uh, slippery. So the feeling is pleasant and I felt confident even in wet conditions especially during these days, it's really wet outside. Considering that my Audio 6 is still running uh, more than 500 kilometers at the moment, I would say at least my prediction uh, for the durability here is uh, 500 kilometers. So far so good, but it is not all, so stay till the end. Uh, if you are interested to buy this model, I'll tell you more in a moment. Looking at the midsole with this stockade of 35 mm in the heel, 25 mm in the forefoot, the shoe ensured a great comfort uh, to my calves. Uh, my knees were not on fire, and um, even during long runs. And I have to say, this is my favorite drop and stock, especially in a shoe uh, to use daily. As I expected, it is stiffer in the heel and softer in the forefoot, uh, but the feeling was better than the usual light strike, uh, because even in the heel was quite comfortable. I know it is strange to hear about that uh, for the light strike form. Maybe Adidas understood that the light strike is uh, light, responsive, but for such shoe is pretty stiff. The shoe has neither the torsion system nor the energy rods, uh, therefore it is clear that Adidas wanted to deliver a light shoe, versatile, comfortable, but uh, not necessarily focus on the performance like uh, the other models in the lineup. But then now my question is why the SL20 version 3? Anyhow, Adidas always confused me uh, with all these models. This time it is a quite stable shoe, very wide in the forefoot look in comparison to the Adios 7 for instance and the check my ride uh, looks uh, okay despite my small connection. To be honest, it doesn't seem um, Adidas shoe, it feels wide and big uh, but the upper helps 
in this regard uh, because wraps pretty well the foot. Checking the running dynamics, uh, so the uh, average ground contact time, uh, lower values indicate the better response and the, the average vertical oscillation ratio, lower values indicate a better efficiency or running form. We can see that the shoe uh, it doesn't shine neither for the efficiency nor for the response uh, even in comparison with uh, other shoes i have reviewed in the last video and the feeling somehow reflect the dynamics this time very comfortable running uh, at uh, an easy pace but not particularly responsive or efficient let's talk about the upper now uh, the upper looks uh, uh, stretchy and uh, very strong uh, with less room uh, than usual in the forefoot it is breathable uh, but not super breathable especially especially in the collar, uh, which is huge, too much necessary padding from my point of view. So the heel counter is comfortable, the padding helps to, to wear the shoe, no need to use the extra fabric uh, in the heel cap, uh, but it doesn't lock uh, the heel in place like uh, in other shoes. But still the lockdown is not that bad and the heel is uh, not slippery or moving even uh, at the faster uh, paces. The tongue is not a gasset tongue but it doesn't move and uh, it has a good padding uh, but uh, it is a bit too high in my opinion. The laces are traditional and flat uh, and the lockdown system is working great. I don't want to talk about uh, these rings uh, but you can see they put now a reinforcement because someone <laughs> experienced a broken ring in the past uh, without saying I don't trust this system at all. I have no benchmark in this case but uh, I felt this upper pretty strong therefore I believe it will last at least uh, uh, 500 km. So in conclusion, uh, my feeling after the first runs uh, is more to run with a comfortable shoe uh, rather than a versatile shoe. When I run uh, at uh, a pace of 4 minutes 15 uh, seconds per kilometer, I haven't felt any support for the rolling motion despite the forefoot looks pretty carved and uh, pronounced like a rocker. But I would have appreciated more form in the mid of the foot uh, to have a better and uh, round the roll or ride. So I would suggest it uh, for sure for training, uh, especially for slow runs, uh, um, to recover uh, the fast days. Uh, uh, this shoe would be uh, really great uh, offering you uh, the right protection and comfort uh, you look during uh, the recovery days. I see this shoe a perfect uh, daily trainer, but unfortunately I can't compare it uh, uh, to the Boston 9, which was much better at the faster pace uh, and more versatile. The price is still okay. Oh uh, guys, this was interesting. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and uh, leave a like if you like this content. It is especially during this phase uh, when the channel is, it is not yet monetized that I need your support to go ahead. With that being said, as always, as always, thanks for watching. Until the next time, keep running. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it To my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks Feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight Never stopped, never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no, I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say